Compact track loaders move materials like dirt, gravel, and even snow into a dump truck or any other type of machinery. The rubber tracks give them the traction to work hard while treading lightly over soft ground conditions like grass. Compact track loaders can be used year-round. Compact track loaders give a smooth and stable ride over all sorts of terrain. Their rubber tracks and suspension allow them to turn on a dime and work in places where other machines couldn't. To start, technicians attach four sets of mid-wheels to a frame rail. The wheels are made of plastic and rubber. Then they assemble the axle suspension, using rubber cords so the wheels can flex up and down. They tighten the bolts and mark them as done. After they attach two more sets of mid-wheels, what's called the frame rail assembly is complete. Technicians then attach a turnbuckle to the frame rail. The turnbuckle will be used to tighten or loosen the rubber track. Next, they put together the drive sprocket assembly, the part that drives the track. They put a drive motor into a housing, add the sprocket assembly, then put on a heavy-duty bearing. Finally, they install a support plate, which completes the drive motor assembly. A technician then mounts the drive motor assembly onto the frame rail assembly. Technicians install the rubber track onto the frame rail assembly. A little lubrication makes the track go on easier until its molded lugs interlock with the drive sprocket assembly. Next comes a larger idler wheel, which they install at the end of the track, securing it on the axle. He tightens the turnbuckle to give the rubber track the correct tension, completing the undercarriage assembly. The track loader will ride on two of these undercarriages. A technician installs the machine's main suspension onto the chassis, then connects the hydraulic valve assembly. It's the hub to which they connect all the hydraulic lines and hoses used to control the machine. Using a crane, the technician mounts the engine to the chassis. Once the engine is secure, he puts on the integrated fuel tank. He installs a hydraulic cylinder and connects its two fluid lines. One cylinder goes on each side of the machine. They're used to move the loader bucket up and down. He then connects the undercarriage assembly to the chassis using an undercarriage pin and a pneumatic wrench to secure it in place. A technician now installs the loader assembly, the part that holds the bucket or other attachment. Once installed, this machine can lift up to 2800 kilograms. He secures the assembly in place using heavy-duty pins. Then technicians install the operator station that helps protect the driver from the elements and from debris. A technician makes sure the loader arm works properly, then drives the track loader on a treadmill to test all the systems. He runs the engine at full speed until it reaches the appropriate operating temperature. This shows that everything is working as it should. Finally, he affixes the company logo. Compact track loaders are strong and agile machines. They work just as well on dry surfaces as they do in wet and muddy conditions.